And that's usually, Megan Duhamel and Eric Usually from themselves yeah. more than anybody else. <laughs> well, athletes will always say they are their worst critic. And you know that they were a little disappointed with that short program, as you mentioned off the top there, Carol. They fell on a throw that they haven't fallen on in about six years yeah. of competition. Yeah, and they're going to do it again today, so they're going to want to make sure. Well, they're going to do the throw. They're going to do the throw. They're going to fall, right? <laughs> They qualified in the top spot for this Grand Prix final. Two golds on the Grand Prix circuit on their way here. They were thinking about adding a second quad throw at the beginning of the season. Tried it once, didn't work. They felt the mental intensity was too much, so they're back to just one for this program. side jumps and very difficult ones it's called a lutz and it helped put them on top next coming the quad throw sal I thought she was too close to the ports. save that one, just didn't quite get the upper body to transfer back over top of the pick. And that's the same element that gave them trouble yesterday, and I'm sure in Megan's mind she's already thinking, okay, back to the drawing board on that one. There's a level of confidence in their skating now that a winning streak and a world title will give you, and they wear it well. There's a calm between them, even with the throw quad in the program. Really pretty little transitional lift there. Those little moments that are so memorable.
a beautiful program to hide through a quad and side-by-side -side triple X's inside. <laughs> The Canadians, Megan Duhamel and Eric Radford, they've been to the Grand Prix final four times before, but it was actually last year where they finished on the podium for the first time, and it was gold. What color will it be this year? They were third after the short program, looking to gain some ground here. This is one of the first bows they've had in a long time where they didn't already know they'd won it. <laughs> And also the first time they've been on the ice with all of their top contenders. And now they're really experiencing what it's like to be the hunted instead of the hunters. They seem they to are, respond very well. They do. They are the four-time national champions. When we return, we will have their scores to see if that will put them in the top spot. And when we return, it'll be time to take a look at the Russian pairs, beginning with Yuko Kavagudi and Alexander Smirnov. Don't go anywhere. Back to Barcelona when we return. But we are back to pairs right now. Megan Duhamel, Eric Radford putting their Grand Prix streak on the line where they have won six straight Grand Prix. Their idea is to skate clean and have the throw quad, which helps put them over the top. The throw, I mean, sorry, the side-by-side -side triple Lexus that you saw in the program were what launched them into the top five in the world. And there was a few little mistakes today. It definitely didn't erode the program, but this is the kind of music where mistakes shine. They've changed some elements around in their program as well, and I'm sure they need a little bit more time just to get that organized too. So they will need a score of 128.75 and 143.93 will put them in the lead. And there are the other Canadians, Charlie Sagan, Charlie Bildo, who are holding on to that top spot. But yes, the reigning world champions will say thank you. We will sit at the top at the moment. 